Let's roll. A lot of recipes can be deconstructed and you can extract what's best about them or the aspect you want without making the whole thing. A quiche is a crust with a custard in it, just like a pie is a crust with some compote of fruit in it. And either one works perfectly without the crust. We're gonna start with some cream and just warm it up. So that's two cups of cream, one pint, two cups. So you want six eggs. A couple of cups of cheese. Um, this pile here is a mixture of these two. This is uh, Emmenthaler, which is real Swiss, and this is Gruyere, which is Gruyere. I'm also adding some grated Parmesan because no cheese mixture is as good without Parmesan as it is with Parmesan. So you just beat this stuff up. I'm gonna put in a little bit of salt. Well, not too little. A little bit of salt and the tiniest bit of cayenne. You don't want people saying, wow, that was hot. You want people thinking something's going on here and I don't know what it is. So a pinch in this case would mean a 32nd of a teaspoon, a 64th of a teaspoon. Not like you do a pinch of salt. Okay. Cheese. My Parmesan. Perfect. I'm just gonna beat a little in here first to warm it up. You don't want the eggs to curdle. And again, you're warming it just so that the whole custard cooks a little bit faster in the oven because it's easier to get the cream warm than it is to get the whole mixture warm. Well, now the whole mixture is warm. Okay. A little house cleaning. You know, we get people writing and saying, I don't wash my hands enough, and this is a filthy, disgusting operation. However, it's not. It's very sanitary. Okay, this is not going to expand, so you can fill your ramekins almost to the brim. Make sure you're getting that cheese that's on the bottom in there. Some of it will have melted from the heat of the cream. Into the oven for about a half an hour. Whoa, baby. Really nice, huh? Sometimes I surprise myself. These are gorgeous, but you might be able to see even as we speak, they're deflating. So you want to present them quickly. You want to bring them from the oven to the table, but you don't want to eat them right away because this is essentially melted cheese. It's really, really hot. It'll burn the roof of your mouth like that. So give it a few minutes, even room temperature, these are great, but warm is where you want them to be. They'll deflate, but they'll still be gorgeous. Sunken, beautiful. Pick your favorite. I'm going with this one. And if you can comfortably hold the ramekin, it's ready to eat. But as I said, these are great at room temperature. Needs more cayenne. Whose idea was that, putting in just a pinch? Mm -hmm.